Hi guys, this is Nidhi, your host for today. I hope uh, you guys are doing great and staying safe. Welcome to yet another session to help you hone your knowledge and do better in your uh, creative life. Uh, today we are going to learn all about introduction to brush lettering. It's going to be a beginner level uh, introduction to brush lettering and how you can master the technique. Today's event is brought to you by Print Shop by Design Hill. Uh, creative uh, print on demand marketplace where you can discover and buy 50 plus unique products, gifts and artworks created by artists worldwide. So moving ahead, let me, uh, we have uh, Valerie Chorus and let me introduce uh, her for you. Uh, Valerie is a lettering artist from Argentina. She's a mom of two little girls married to an awesome man who supports her and her crazy ideas, passionate about teaching, uh, lettering has become a part of Valerie's daily life, not only as a job, but as a relaxing activity. And she believes that if it is good for her, then she needs to share it. Wow, Valerie, that's, that's such a noble thing to say and do. Uh, you want to say a quick hi to the audiences? Hi, welcome. Very happy to have you here today. And I'm, I'm sure it's going to be a, a hell of a ride for all our creative leaders. Uh, so before we start the session, uh, we have a couple of announcements as usual. We are giving away certificates to all the attendees who would stick till the end of the session. You cannot miss on this chance, so please guys stay tuned till the end of the session. Also, uh, do take a screenshot of this event, put it on your Instagram story, tag Design Hill DH and uh, Soy Valerie Chorus. That's uh, Valerie's uh, Instagram handle. One lucky winner will have a chance to win a print shop gift card worth $1.50. Having said that, let's quickly look at what Print Shop by Design Hill is all about. All right, I just realized I had not unmuted myself. So guys, I'll repeat myself once again. Um, you just saw what Print Shop was uh, all about. Uh, if you have anything you would like, like to ask Valerie, please put, put your questions in the questions tab. Uh, you already know the drill. Uh, we have also rolled out a few polls in the poll section. Don't forget to answer them. So Valerie, uh, we are all set to start the session. Can you please uh, you know, move the camera uh, towards, the, uh, uh, towards your uh, worktop? And start yeah. demonstrating. Yes. So hi, welcome to this workshop. I will be teaching you an introduction to brush lettering and I will be working on my table. So I'm gonna put my camera right here so you can see what I will be doing, what I will be teaching you. Okay, so here we go. Uh, we're gonna be working on some paper this is just white plain paper and we're gonna get some markers this is brush lettering so we'll be using a brush tip marker you can use any uh, marker any brush tip marker you have or even a brush even a brush you can do this with a brush uh, but it's better a brush tip because it's only one uh, body you're gonna work with yes with a brush with a real brush you're gonna have some bristles and you need more control so i'm having this this time i will be using a faber castell pit artist pen this is a very nice brush tip for beginners this is my favorite marker for beginners and um I want you to get to know your tool, okay? So probably you're gonna have a brush tip marker, any kind of brush tip marker, 
but you need to check if it's flexible enough for you to work with. So there's a test that I love uh, to, I love to do it with my markers and I uh, invite you to do this with me. This is the teardrop shape. You're going to be working on your paper to press your marker. You're going to get your marker like a 45 degree angle uh, in the middle of your body, of the body of the marker, and you're going to press down and you're going to check if it's flexible enough. This is very important for you to do brush lettering. So you're going to like leave a teardrop shape on the paper and this marker is very flexible. Um, so after that, I want you to go ahead and press down, hold your marker and press down all the way down like this. So you're going to get a thick stroke, okay? So you're going to grab another marker and draw an arrow here for you to remember that these strokes are going down, okay? So you're going to press down and you're going to go down. These are the famous thick strokes in brush lettering. What you have to need to bear in mind is to grab your marker uh, in the middle, as I told you before, but not holding it so tight, okay? So try to get it like this, yes, and press down without grabbing your marker too hard because it won't let you uh, go with the strokes. You need some uh, flexibi flexibility in your hand and, you know, to go like with the flow, so with the marker. Um, so we're going down with these thick strokes in a 45 degree angle and you're now you're working your muscle memory so brush lettering is all about muscle memory i'm telling you lots of things that are getting in your brain but then this information has to go through your hand yes and your hand will be drawing all these shapes okay there is another stroke basic stroke for brush lettering that is this that is the stroke that goes up the stroke that goes up goes lightly, no pressure up. Okay, you can you can go like this in a curve, or you can go like this diagonal, or you can go from down and up. Okay, like this. The idea is to go up, so you're gonna be drawing a sh uh, an arrow that goes up. This is very important for you to remember that whenever you go up, you're gonna get your markers lightly and no pressure with the tip. Why am I telling you to grab the marker 45 degrees angle? Because it's very important for you to uh, take care of your brush tip. This is a very um, uh, fragile tip. So you need to take care uh, taking it in a proper way and also using the correct paper. The paper you're going to be using is a marker paper. This is very important. I'm using this paper, yes, uh, Canson marker. Any marker paper will do. It has to, it needs to be so smooth, yes, so the marker can uh, slightly move like dancing on the paper, yes. If it has some texture, yes, if your paper has some texture, it will ruin your brush tip. So this is very important. So we're going up, we're going up, yes. And now I want you to uh, mix these two exercises, uh, going down and up, yes. So we're gonna be going down like this, down, pressing, pressing hard, yes, so heavy pressure down, yes, and we're going to go light up. And try to go slow, yes, this is very important to go slow. The same speed you go down is the same speed you go up, okay, this is very important. These are strokes, I know they are boring, but they are essential to get the idea, yes, of the brush lettering technique, to get your muscle going, yes? The hand 
has to get used to these strokes. So then it will, it will be uh, drawing by itself, yes? No thinking. Now we are thinking. We are thinking, we're processing this through our brains and we're thinking what we are doing. We're going down, pressing hard, we're going up slightly pressure yes so heavy pressure light pressure this is all we are thinking about but you have to really work on your muscle um there's another exercise that i love to to do with my brush markers there is like a roof the roof of a house so we're gonna go up like this and then we're gonna lift our marker from the paper and then we're gonna place our marker down and press down with heavy pressure and have this shape okay so we're gonna go up and then we're gonna lift our hand and we're gonna go down heavy pressure so I want you to grab another marker yes a bullet tip marker and draw these arrows for you to remember yes very important we have to train our hand so we're gonna go through these exercises from time to time to warm up to practice and to create that muscle memory it's all about muscle memory sorry i'm repetitive with this but this is very important your hand needs to practice yes if you haven't done this before you need to uh, go through these exercises. Um, there's another exercise that I love, like a warm-up. It's like the mounting. And this is very fun because you're going to go up. Please, if you're having this uh, brush marker at home and you're practicing with me, please watch and then do. Yes, please. The first thing you're going to do is uh, watch and then you can grab your marker and follow me. You're gonna go up. You're gonna go up, like the, going up a mountain. And whenever you're get you're getting up, yes, you have to go down. So right here, I'm gonna start pressing down little by little, putting pressure and going down. Okay. So this is the famous mountain. You have to do it in one stroke only. Don't stop as I do. I stopped to show you what you're gonna do, but follow me go up slightly no pressure and then slightly putting pressure on your marker and going down okay here if you're a beginner a very beginner you're gonna get here uh probably uh not that smooth yes uh transition this is a transition from one pre from one light pressure to heavy pressure so this has to go smooth if you're having here like a broken stroke it's normal don't worry you'll get it yes with practice this is very very hard to go through because this is the hardest stroke to draw yes so you're gonna go up and then pressing down so going up slightly and then pressing down heavy pressure and you have these little mountains so now now that you're doing well with this <laughs> exercise i'm gonna uh turn it upside down and you're gonna start by pressing yes but by putting pressure so you're gonna go down yes with heavy pressure going down and slightly you're going to start going up with the tip so first watch and then you can uh, do this with me go down heavy pressure look at this marker how it bends and then slightly take it up okay and remember, there's something very important to uh, remember when you're doing this exercise. Do the arrows, please. 
remember the speed is very important okay you have to uh, go down and then go up in the same speed don't hurry up if you hurry up you will uh, not get this smooth stroke okay go slow go slow concentrate on your strokes concentrate on your hand if you're not getting this as I do I will teach you uh, a secret yes I love teaching my students secrets because there are some shortcuts in this process of learning. I am uh, doing this uh, for, I have been brush lettering for five years now. So uh, my tip is to exaggerate your strokes. So if you're not getting this, you're gonna go and grab a pencil and draw the shape a little bigger than your, because probably you're getting smaller because that's what we do. We are afraid and we get small that's not the idea the idea is to exaggerate and go go bigger and then with the brush you're gonna follow this shape and it's gonna be much easier because you have like this to go over uh, heavy pressure go down and then slowly lifting up your marker with light pressure and now you're gonna get better i know because this works you have a shape to follow and it's much easier to concentrate just on the strokes on the pressure you are uh here putting in the marker so you go down and you go up so exaggerate if there is something that is not okay for you Go ahead and grab a pencil and draw it bigger. Another exercise, a little bit difficult, is like a worm. Yes, you know, you go up and down, up and down, and this is very fun. So we're gonna go up, light pressure, and when we're gonna get there, we're gonna go down and we're gonna press down with our brush tip marker. Look like how flexible this tip is. And then we're gonna start like letting the pressure go so we can go up light. Yes, very important. You're gonna go up and then heavy pressure and then slightly letting your marker go slightly up, okay? So this is in one stroke. You should try to draw this in only one stroke. So you're gonna go up, you're gonna go down, and then up again. Remember, this transition is very hard to go through this because that is when your marker yes, needs to uh, let go the pressure or you have to put pressure. So yeah, we're, here we're putting pressure, then we're gonna let him go and go up. We're gonna turn this exercise and we're gonna do the other way. We're gonna start by pressing down, pressing hard, and then we're gonna go down, slightly up, and then again, pressing down. Okay, so we're gonna go again. We're gonna go heavy pressure down slightly letting letting go that pressure to go up and then again going up putting some pressure okay we are thinking about these strokes but our hand will be getting these movements this pressure you need to practice this is a warm-up for you to then start drawing letters. This is a, this is a secret to go through all these exercises. Um, there are some other more exercises you can find elsewhere because there are many, many of these kinds of exercises. But I want you to start with me um, the alphabet because you're here to learn how to write words. So after this warm up, we're going to be starting with some uh, letters because that's what we hear today. 
We're going to start with simple ones, like, for example, I. Yes, I is very simple because it's just one stroke. So we're going to uh, grab our marker. Remember that the posture here is very important. How you're sitting down here is very important. Remember to sit comfortable on your chair, place your hand on the table, and, pre and place all your arm, yes, until the elbow because that will help you to get um, consist consistent strokes, yes? We are moving our hand, but we are also moving our arm, yes? So we, you need to uh, sit comfortable on your table. And we're going to go ahead and work with the letter I. I is with one stroke only. We're going to go down and a little bit up. This tail is very important for you to draw because this will help you in the future to join your letters. That's what I always tell my students. I'm gonna teach you the whole alphabet and probably we're gonna be working some words only, but then you need to practice alone and uh, take this advice and draw your tails like this so then it's easier for you. Okay, letter I, we're gonna do this a couple of times for you to get this I. Uh, you can also go ahead and draw the arrows. Um, I have some, some practice sheets like this. I don't know if I can send them to you, but I have these with arrows so you can follow all the directions and you don't get lost. Uh, another possibility to do this uh, is like this. Okay, so we have I. Another letter, very, very simple, you can go is with a T. Letter T is very simple because it's just one stroke. So you're gonna go down and then up and then, oh, there we go, we have the letter T. And the stroke that goes here, that cross the T, is gonna be very thin. You can do it like this or just like this, as you prefer. You can play around. Remember that this is modern calligraphy, so you can play around as much as you like with your style, yes? Remember that this is very personal, personal, and uh, you have to express through your through your letters. So another uh, letter that is very easy is the letter L because it's just one stroke. You can go down like this, heavy pressure, and go up. This is the letter L. Um, you can go like this also, going up and then going down and then up again, yes? You can do what, which, the one you like, the one you prefer. Uh, let's do this one more time, L. So we're gonna go down, heavy pressure, and then go up, and then the other L goes up, and then down. So you're gonna see how your heart is like getting, um, quiet because you're sitting down, you're practicing the strokes, you're concentrating on this and you are uh, getting relaxed with these strokes. Um, so now we're gonna go with another with other letters, for example letter M with many many strokes. Letter M, for example here M, we have one stroke, we're gonna lift our marker, we're gonna go down and we're gonna go up again, and we're gonna go down and we're gonna lift our marker and pick up from here and go up again and go down. So probably you're watching first how I'm doing the letter and then you can uh, get your marker and try to do what I do. So one stroke here goes down then we go up down 
lift our marker go up and down and there we have beautiful M yes with lots of curves yes you can go you can go simple you can go like this of course now let's work with the letter N and we go down and we go up and down again remember to exaggerate the tail of the letter so then it's easier for you to join in words so n goes down and then up and down we have so many so many um, letters with different kinds of strokes um, let's do some b letter b this uh, I do it like this B. We go up and then we go down one stroke and then another stroke here goes up, down and I like, you can close it here. Sometimes I like to go like this and up. Depends on you, on how you want to play around with your letters. Um, so B, you can also do this B as well you can choose this is the one that i love drawing b you can also um work on some h i love letter h h you can play so much with letter h and you go up and then down and then you go up down and up this is very, very simple. I love playing and just going like, like this, with H, with lots of curves. You can add these curves to your style, like more fancy words. You can play around. Whenever you get the, um, the technique, you can start like playing around with curves. If you love curves, and uh, practicing different styles um so h we're gonna go down again up down and then up and down and then up again and k is very similar letter k is similar you go up down and then you get lift your marker and you're gonna go ahead with this like this and then down again or a simple click k for example like this you can also do this k very simple another uh word here is um letter We, we have H, K, P, letter P, we're going down like this, heavy pressure, and then up, down, and there we close the P. You can also do it, this with like a curve here, like this, a little curve, and then goes up as you prefer. P. Um, we also have in this uh, kind of group of letters, we also have uh, K. We did K, P, R. Letter R. Uh, I love playing around with R with this loop here, like this, and then going down with heavy pressure. I love this letter R. I've seen people doing like this with their letter R. Or even no loop like this. So as you prefer. I love this R. And this is the one that I do all the time. So you can draw the one that you love. Um, and of course there is V, V from Valerie, V, uh, we go up, 
down, up, and we can leave it like this. And you can play around with V like this, down, and then you can draw like a loop here and go up. So this is uh, your preference. B. And U, U, we're going, uh, and W, W. Let's work with W because after V comes W. So we're going to go with W. V, and then another V. You, you're going to lift your hand. It's very important for you to lift your hand because uh, that way you're going to start drawing your letters. We're not writing, we're drawing. Yes, stroke by stroke, we are drawing. So this is very different from handwriting, yes? So pay attention to the strokes of your letter. So you're going to go down, up, and then we have W. We're going to go another other time with W, down, up, and we're going to go down, up, and we're going to go with the loop here. You can play with this. Or you can also do like a bouncy style of B, like this. <clears throat> or the loop here. Yes. So you can get creative with your letters and play around. I suggest you to do this exercise. Grab a pencil and draw different types of A, different types of V, yes? And so you can there get your style, yes? I'm working with only one color. This is kind of boring. Yeah. <laughs> I kept I kept it purple all the time. <laughs> I'm loving, only... loving it, you're absolutely like... loving it. You're loving purple. I got so concentrated, you know, and relaxed with the strokes that I forget. I forgot I was using only one color. I love colors, if you know me, <laughs> and I love playing with different colors. And I have here different kind of markers. These fabric are still coming different colors and you can get uh, so creative with them. So, um, uh, Valerie? Yes, sure. Yeah, we are 30 minutes into the session. Uh, is it a good time to take a mid-roll, quick mid-roll, and then we can jump back to the session again? Of course. All right. All course. right. You can grab a glass of water, maybe a glass of juice, maybe. Yes. And uh, while Valerie does that, uh, this is an amazing workshop. I'm sure uh, you guys are enjoying the session. I'm enjoying it myself. It's very, very relaxing and therapeutic to see this. Uh, I would like to give a quick shout out to Print Shop by Design Hill, who was leading Creative Marketplace for organizing this event. And I hope you guys are taking this event screen screenshot and putting your Instagram story uh, tagging Design Hill and Valerie. Uh, so let's take a quick break and keep this interesting workshop going on. Stay tuned. We will be back to hear more from uh, Valerie. I've always been creative and always been an artist. As a young girl, I used to paint rocks and I used to sell them for a quarter on the street. <laughs> and I just fell in love with it. It just grew into a passion of mine. I started looking on the web and I came across Design Hill and they had a design contest to design a logo and I entered it and, and I won. And I was like, oh, this is really great. I can pick and choose what type of logos or design projects I want to work on and it allows me to be creative, keep my hands you know with my tools and, and working so it's kind of nice. It's really easy to use. You can scroll through the projects and there's sections that you could go by. It's really easy. There's a few clients who have come back to use the one-on-one -on -one projects. There's one client in particular, she owns a vintage shop and I designed her logo and she came back. She needed a design for a flyer and she really liked the illustrations that I did for her. So she came back a couple of times with projects. I would recommend it, especially um, if you're a designer that's starting out and you want to learn from other designers, seasoned designers. It's a place 
to keep in the game and keep using your tools. It makes me feel great and it kind of confirms that I should be doing this. And I love to see logos that I've designed out and proud of that. And I think that the clients are so happy that their logo represents what they do and you know makes them look good. It's a collaboration, it's good for me and it's definitely good for them. All right, we are back. Valerie, are you there? If you're there, you need to unmute yourself so that, yeah. I'm, I'm here, yes. Uh, amazing, amazing. So um, we have another 30 minutes for this session. And let's, uh, you know, continue the workshop for next 15, 20 minutes. And then let's open it for the questions. Okay, sure. We're going to finish with our alphabet. All right. I grab some colors. I grab some right. colors because so concentrated on purple <laughs> that I kept with that color. So we were working on the W and now we're going to work with some uh, other uh, words and we have the more, the most difficult words. So get, let's get ready. And we have U as well. So we're going to go down, up. And then lift our marker and go down and up again with you. Very easy, you. Go down, up, and then lift your marker. Go down and up again. And um, so now let's get into the most difficult words. There are the ones that are close. Yes, uh, for example, uh, O, O is very difficult, you know, O, and A as well, because the alphabet starts with A, and A is the most difficult word to draw, because it's a round shape. Let's go with uh, A first. So we're going to go up, and then pressing down, and then closing this shape in a circle and then you're gonna go down here and up. A is the most difficult word so I um, suggest you to grab a pencil and draw your letter in pencil so then you can go over the shape concentrating on the strokes. A. You also have D. D is also like a circle shape here and then pressing down and lifting up. D. Again, we're going to do, do another kind of D with a loop here and then up. I'm loving this D. Um, another is G. G goes up, down, up, and then we go like this. Okay, G. Let's go again with G. So you're going to draw like a circle here, and then you're going to lift your marker and go down heavy pressure, and then slightly go up and finish here, okay? G. Um, another is Q, another word is Q, go up and down and close your circle and Q, I love this Q, um, go down and then up, lift your marker and draw the tail here, okay, that tail is very important, Q, and uh, as I was telling you, O, O was my, uh, O was my problem <laughs> because O, I love this kind of O. Oh my. <laughs> so I, whenever I draw this O, I stopped breathing. And that's not the idea. Please, you have to breathe. Um, so I love this kind of O when you press down and you go up 
and all around like this. So it's kind of a fancy O. You can also work on this kind of O as well, or this as you prefer. So you can play around with O as you prefer. So after O, we also have uh, E. E starts like this. So we go up and then go down and then go up. Okay, so um, if you're having some trouble here, you can draw the shape, of course, with a pencil and you can uh, concentrate only on the pressure you are putting in the marker. E. Um, and there's some other words like um, F, letter F, which is in one stroke. You can see that it's in one stroke. And they say it's the most difficult. You go up and then you go down and then you go up again and lift your marker to draw the tail, F. Uh, the, another word is um, X. X is very nice, it's very simple. Actually, we can do it like this, X. <laughs> or we can go fancy and go like this with some curves. Remember, you can add curves with your brush tip marker. Very simple. Press it, putting, press, putting a little light pressure here and then going down heavy and slightly going up with the tip. You can go and get some fancy strokes. Um, and we also have, um, what, am, what am I forgetting? I have uh, Z, Y and Z. Y, we go down, up, and then we go down again and up. Yes, let's do this again. I love like drawing these curves. And then go down and up. I don't know if you're watching only or you're practicing with me. I hope you are. I would love to see what you're doing because I love uh, watching you uh, practice these kind of uh, letters. And then we're gonna go with Z or Z. Like this and then like this. So in two strokes you get Z. And I'm forgetting, I think, one only one more letter here, which is which is S. Am I right? Yes. Ah, and and J. I'm forgetting. So uh, S. We're gonna go up lift our marker, press down, and we can lift, leave it like this here, or you can go with the curve here, and like this, so you can play as you like. Uh, and I'm forgetting S and C. 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 So by this time, if you're practicing with me, you're going to be uh, more consistent in your strokes. See, you're going to you're going to have more control now than before. And uh, there's another word that I forgot that is J. Go down and up. So we have gone through all the alphabet. So I would like to uh, very quickly uh, write something for you here and then we can 
go with the questions and I'm going to grab my markers and I'm going to write a message for you. I'm going to write a message for you that is uh, enjoy brush lettering. So I'm going to start with E and then N. Like putting together all these words that I was teaching you separately. Uh, enjoy. Remember that to join your letters is very important that the tail is long enough. Enjoy. Enjoy. I love it. I absolutely love it. The last word. And... <laughs> Thank you. Enjoy brush letting. I'm grabbing uh, different colors so you can see. With V. And you can get creative. Whenever you're writing some words in a composition, you can get creative and work on these spaces that some brush lettering we're gonna go again because i don't like these two letters here so we're gonna go again so you can see me again enjoy this is live so mistakes are possible here and it's important to be aware of the mistakes as well so we're gonna go again enjoy and now i'm gonna grab this marker and I'm going to work with brush. Brush. Lettering. I was trying to play around with some uh, flourishing. You can play with flourishing. So uh, the idea is to play around. Yes, and enjoy your letters. And remember, uh, using the right paper and the right marker will help you to dance on your paper. Yes, that's the idea. To practice your muscle memory, yes, and dance with your markers in the paper. So, uh, I don't know if we can go with the questions now. Yes, we can go with the questions. But before that, let me tell you that this was such a therapeutic session. I absolutely loved it. And you are so effortless with what you're doing. I mean, you know, within a matter of seconds, you wrote all these three words, which I really, really enjoyed. And um, I'm sure that is the case with all our attendees as well. Um, yes, we do have a lot of questions and most of them are asking you to draw a few letters, but, oh, but we'll, we'll take it. We'll take it one by one. Let me okay. start with, uh, you know, this question. So, so the most asked question is, uh, can you suggest a brand of markers and paper for practicing? Yes, I really like this Farrah Castell uh brush tip marker that is pit artist pen i really love them uh 
I uh, love the tip because they have a secret. Let me tell you the secret because I love sharing secrets with you. <laughs> this brush tip, you know, if it gets destroyed, because whenever you're practicing for the first time, please beware that you're going to destroy your marker and that's fine. That's okay. So whenever you destroy <laughs> this brush tip marker, just grab some uh, twistles. Twistles is the name of this. Let me grab this. So grab some something like this and you're gonna have pull pull down pull pull out sorry pull out the brush tip and then you have another brush tip on the other side so that's a secret wow for you to have yes two markers in one with this faber castell amazing and that actually uh, answers uh, the questions by both keisha and sumera they both had questions around brush pens uh, any suggestions about the paper Yes, uh, marker, per marker paper is going to be good because uh, you have a smooth surface to work on. Mm -hmm. Because brush tip markers can get destroyed easily if you use them in some texture paper. All right, all right, great. So um, ha, um, and the next question is by Kate. Uh, she asks, will this be the same with a quill the same what will this be the same with a quill i'm sure uh, kate if you can explain your question maybe we can ask this again i think uh, the question is currently not understandable a little please ask the question again and we'll ask it uh, uh, ask the same again to valerie um keisha again asks: can these methods be replicated using a digital brush pen or tool or graphic steps of course yes i do ipad lettering with procreate and with the apple pencil and it's the same you whenever you practice a uh, heavy pressure you go down light pressure you go up lots of times with your hand your muscle it's gonna be uh also good for your ipad for your digital lettering yes all right Amazing. So there is a request by uh, the Kion uh, to write letter R and S again. Yes, of course. Uh, in one hour, it was very hard to get all these letters. I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure. <laughs> I take uh, I, sh I teach this in two hours and uh, 30 minutes. So imagine. <laughs> um, but it was very well timing. Letter R, right? Letter R. Letter R and S. R. I love this R. Uh, you can go like this or like this as well. Or some people do, do it like this. One, one, two strokes. Yes, one and then two. And uh, S. S, you can go up like this and then go down and leave it like this or you can go up down and lift here uh something you have to watch yes uh is that there is a difference in the strokes there is a light a, a light stroke and heavy yes a thin and thick you need to see thin and thick it's very important through all this practice yes remember you have you need to see these different strokes if you're not having these different strokes thin and, thin and thick something is wrong yes because that's the beauty of brush lettering to watch these thin and thick strokes all work together so um there we go letter s amazing all right, so, so for the rest of the questions, uh, we're going to take the last two questions of this session. Valerie, can we see you uh, instead, of, instead of your work talk? Of course. Let me check if I can, let me check if I can do this because yes. I have some problems watching myself. Uh, let me see if you can see me now. Okay. Uh, can you see my face now? Because yes, I, I can see your face and everyone can see your face. Um, okay. All right. Yeah. All right. So, um, 
I'm so happy that you joined us here today. We almost had almost 100 attendees joining us today for this live session. Um, so many people so many people and a lot of other lot of people who couldn't join us are going to watch the replay which will be there on in their email boxes uh, right after the session ends so uh, i'm gonna take the last few questions of this session um yes. andrea wants to know about you uh, how much time did valerie take to become a professional in lettering wow well you know that there is a, a personal thing because um I always tell my students that it's, it, it depends on how much time you spend practicing. I really, I'm going to tell you the truth. I got obsessed with this because, and this is very important, because I realized that the more I practice, the more I enjoy and I saw results. It was very pleasing to my eye to see how much better I could get day by day practicing daily you can see lots of improvement and that is really uh motivating yes it's, it motivates you to go to go and practice i was practicing every day uh i started like five years ago and then i read lots of books i took some online workshops lots of online workshops because I love uh, taking classes from different artists. If you have the opportunity to uh, learn from different artists, to watch different artists, lettering artists, you're going to get uh, lots of little bits and pieces from everyone. And you're going to uh, like mm, find your own style. Right, right. I agree with you completely. Um... Kate have asked the question again. She wants to know, can these methods be applicable with a quill pen or a fountain pen or a feather pen? Sure, yes, because it's all about pressure. This is more like brush lettering. It's like, like modern calligraphy. Yeah. Uh, but if you go with a fountain pen, you can do some uh, copper plate. Yes. Uh, and uh, the same technique, you know, you go down, you put pressure and you go up, you go slide uh, with light pressure, the same. But it's kind of different because uh, copper plate, it's more like uh, discipline, you know, each letter has to look the same. Yes, it's kind of, it's uh, different. All right. And we have a lot of questions coming in um, continuously. I'm trying to understand and, you know, I'm trying to cover maximum of them. Um, for everyone who's requesting um, uh, alphabet wise demonstration, I, I suggest you watch this video right from the starting. Uh, uh, that can help you. Uh, for the for, for now, I'm taking the last question by Julie. Um, she says, "I'm a beginner, and uh, sh I have tried following your activity right now. I seem to tense up. Do you have some tips or exercises to avoid muscle tension?" Okay, so welcome. <laughs> I love beginners. Uh, and uh, my advice is for you to practice all these warm up strokes at the very beginning. And you can find lots of these kind of exercises online, like drillings, uh, warm ups. Uh, you can practice with that and then go ahead with uh, letters. And I will suggest you to start practicing with words that you love your name colors uh yes all right all right we are actually on the verge of ending this session and uh, honestly can't believe because it was I, like i said it, it was very very therapeutic it was really nice to s watch valerie uh, demonstrating such amazing uh, letters uh, and Right. And Valerie, how do you feel to be here? Any last thoughts that you would share, would want to share with our audiences and us? I, I'd like to thank you for being here because uh, it's uh, really hard to start brush lettering by, by ourselves. So it's very nice for you to be here to practice with me. Uh, any questions you have, I am, I'm on Instagram. Soy Valerie Cores. You can find me there. You can ask me questions about materials. I speak Spanish and I speak English. I used to be a teacher of English. And so you can 
ask me any questions you have. I will, lo I will love to help you. I know you will love to help each one of them. And I apologize, everyone, to all the attendees. In case if you are not able to pick your question, please understand it's a, it may be a, could be a repetitive one or, or we are limited by time here is the reason why we couldn't take that question. But like uh, Valerie said, please feel free to get in touch with her uh, on her Instagram handle. We have already shared it uh, in the chat box. Please, please scroll up and see the uh, uh, Valerie's Instagram handle. And please get in touch with her there. This actually brings, uh, brings us to the end of this wonderful workshop with Valerie Chorus. This was indeed mm -hmm. a value-packed session, although there is a lot more that we could have learned. learned. Uh, unfortunately, we are uh, limited by time here. I hope you guys loved this session because I did. Uh, once again, I would like to thank Valerie for taking out time to be a part of this event. Um, thank you for inviting me. It was a pleasure. Same here. So if you, uh, if you guys are interested uh, and haven't registered on our upcoming events, we have a lot more events coming up. Uh, my colleague Robin will be putting up the link of our events uh, section in the chat where you can find all our upcoming events. Please register yourself. To watch this session and other such wonderful events, subscribe to our event section on the YouTube channel. The link will be there in the chat box. Also, do check out our Learn page to feed your inspiration and creativity. You can multiply your business, your creative business, and creative growth 10 times by uh, hearing from the experts, by learning tips, hacks, growth stories, expert advice from the industry's best. Uh, visit Design Hill Learn page. The link will be in the chat box again. We have also recently launched a cool design tool called Design Hill Studio. You can create some cool design assets for your uh, business for free using Design Hill Studio tool. Uh, visit designhill.com slash studio and check more about it. You can find the link in the chat. On that note, I would like to say bye to everyone who joined us here today. Take care, guys, and stay safe. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.